I have made this kiosk mode display with just a few off the shelf parts and a one liner script. Let me show you how I did that. It all started when I was trying to follow along with the Raspberry Pi kiosk mode official tutorial for the third time this year and I realized that the dull and tedious command line choreography no longer sparked joy in me. Also once it's set up, it's pretty inconvenient and cumbersome to update the pages to shuffle by editing Wayfire config manually. So I decided to write up a wrapper script that would take care of the manual steps for setting up and while at it, I also thought it would be cool to have a web GUI as a management interface. And so Piosco was born, the version 1 at least. Now before I show you the convenience of a single script setup, first let me assemble the parts I need to run it on. You don't even need the exact same parts that I'm using, but I digress. Let's start by flashing the Pi OS on the micro SD card. So go on to Raspberry Pi Imager's webpage and follow the instructions to install it. On a Debian based distro, you can just copy paste the install command, but I'm on Fedora, so it's a different package manager for me. Don't worry about it. Once it's installed, open it up. Choose the distro for your specific Pi. Make sure to install a distro with a desktop manager which uses Wayland Display Server with Wayfire Compositor. Either of the first two options in the distro list is going to be the safest bet. After choosing the card that I want to flash, here I am opening up the OS customizer. This is not strictly needed but I find it easier and more convenient to set it up through remote login so that I don't have to go looking for a mouse, keyboard etc for it after the first boot. Once you have set up all the necessary fields, go ahead and confirm writing on the SD card and wait for a few minutes for it to finish. It will delete all the existing data on it, so make sure to select the right card and once it's done, pop it into the Pi. For my setup, next I need to attach a heatsink to the Pi, then mount it on the back of a 7 inch WaveShare DSi display that I'm using. There were some hiccups, aha moments and lessons learned to get the third party DSi display to work with the Pi, but that's a story for another day. For the time being, all we need to do is to screw in to secure the Pi and make sure all the electrical connections for power and I2C are done right. You may not need to follow all of these steps, but as I mentioned, I am not assembling this setup just for the YouTube video. I actually need this as an always on kiosk mode display for my personal purposes. So next we put the back cover on and our assembly is complete. Time to power it on for the first boot. I'm going to take a note of the IP address as we will need it for the remote login. Open the Piosk repo page on GitHub and scroll down to the setup guide section of the readme. From the list of preparation steps, we can see that we already have boot into the Pi. We are on the network and have an IP. Default desktop auto login is also working as expected and by default Pi OS also doesn't time out the screen so that's also taken care of. Now as I said, I like setting it up over SSH so I'm going to remote login to it but alternatively you can add a keyboard and open a terminal window on the Pi itself and as long as that works, we have all our prerequisite ducks in a row for the final coup de gras. Scroll down to the installation section, copy the one liner script, paste it in the Pi's shell and press enter. That's it. Watch the terminal scroll through as it does everything for you. I don't think you will get time to make a coffee, but you might be able to bust a move. Go for it. Once it's done, copy the link and open it with a browser on any device on the network and you should be presented with a pretty minimalist dashboard that lists some of the sample pages that it has configured for your Piosk. Feel free to remove the ones that you don't need and add the ones that you do need. Type in or paste the URL in the top text input and press enter or click on add. No more fiddling with wayfire.ini file to update pages. Once you're happy with the list of pages, go ahead and press the big red apply button. It will update the configuration and reboot the Pi with the new configuration to take effect. As it says in the terminal, when the Pi reboots, it should start into the kiosk mode. And there it is. I've successfully spent three afternoons automating a 15 minute task and even though I am just voicing over a video right now, for something that I've experienced myself already, for an outcome that I already know of, yet it still makes me giddy. So what are you waiting for? 
Go ahead and set up a Piast for yourself. Aside from the basic clocks, weather, news, etc., I found that it's really good for things like calendar, Slack DM and mentions, pager duty incidents, service uptime, deployment monitoring, cluster health, and stuff like that, where you don't want to constantly get distracted with notification, but also don't want to miss out on the stuff that actually matters. You can just take a glimpse every once in a while at your own discretion and within seconds have an idea if anything needs your urgent attention or you can just go back to focusing on whatever you were focusing on at the moment. I really hope you find Piost useful. If so, then please like the video, maybe share it with your friend or colleague or whoever else might be into it. If you face issues or have suggestions, you can comment on the video, but even better if you post an issue on the GitHub repo itself. It's an open source project and I highly encourage you to look into the source code before running somebody else's script on your system. And you're more than welcome if you want to contribute to it in any way possible. Thanks for watching and break it till you make it.